World News, we have uh, breaking news uh, at this hour and uh, a plane is reported to have gone down. It's March of 2015, the German Wings flight 4U9525 is en route to Dusseldorf, Germany, with 150 people on board. The captain of the flight leaves his co-pilot in the cockpit, Andras Lubitz, the co-pilot in question, only has to keep the plane afloat. A few minutes pass. Suddenly, the captain, still with his passengers, hears the locking of the cockpit door. At 9.47 am, an SOS call is made. Air traffic control tries to contact the pilot, but despite their best efforts, he remained unresponsive. Lubitz initiated a controlled descent that continued until the aircraft hit a mountainside in the French Alps near the town of Gignolesvains. But this tragic story was taken much differently in the depths of the 2015 web. Have you ever heard this dialogue? No one cared who I was till I put on the mask. If I pull that off, will you die? It would be extremely painful. You're a big guy. For you. This is a scene from the movie The Dark Knight Rises. It takes place on a plane between a CIA agent and the main antagonist of the movie, Bane. The plane eventually crashes, unleashing Bane. This masked man became a symbol for something best described by himself. You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it, molded by it. I didn't see the light until I was already a man. The underdog, a reject. This gave rise to the meme known as Bane posting. For years, people posted the dialogue and related to Bane. By 2015, it would finally fulfill its role. And this takes us to Fortune, an image board known for its anonymity, absolute freedom of speech and capability to bring chaos. Users started drawing parallels between the crash and the plane scene. First, Dr. Pavel from the movie appears on the crash scene. The prosecutor behind the case is named Bruce Robin. Just like the heroes of Gotham City, the flight's number starts with 4U. Just as mentioned previously, the town near which the flight crashed contains the word that sounds like Bane. Suspicious. Simultaneously, a video titled Meme Magic, referencing the occultist Ali Esther Crowley, circulated on 8 chan's random board. And this starts a chain of seemingly unrelated events. The term made its way to Fortune's politically incorrect board, which accused the TV board of using Meme Magic to crash the plane by overposting about Bane. They will soon link the symbolic freeing of Bane to the events that happened in the late 2010s. Did you know that the intruder appears as far back as 2016? It was described as a black and white photo of a man, which I just find so funny with today's context. If you don't want this guy to come into your house and stretch your lid, better click the like button, subscribe and share the video. This is pretty schizophrenic at this point, but let's see what's really inside. Do we still have organs? To do that, we need to go back in time. More precisely to July 26th of 1875. This was the day when another underdog related to darkness, this time the one hidden deep within our minds, Carl Gustav Jung, was born in Switzerland. His early fascination with the human psyche led him to study medicine, and he later specialized in psychiatry. Jung began his professional career at the psychiatric hospital in Zurich, where he worked under a pioneer in the study of schizophrenia. This work brought him into contact with Sigmund Freud, the founder of psychoanalysis. The two men had a close collaboration, with Jung initially being seen as Freud's prodigy and heir. However, their relationship eventually soured due to differing views on the nature of the unconscious. Carl broke away from Freud 
and founded his own school of thought known as analytical psychology. One of the psychiatrist's most significant contributions to psychology was his concept of the collective unconscious, and this exploration of the hidden is why I gave him that title at the beginning. Jung's theory of the collective unconscious states that beneath the personal unconscious, unique to each individual, lies a deeper layer shared by all humans. This collective unconscious is composed of archetypes, which are universal symbols and themes that recur across cultures and time periods. The key archetypes are the self, represents the unified unconsciousness and consciousness of an individual. The shadow contains the repressed and hidden aspects of oneself. The anima, or animus, represents the feminine side of a man and the masculine side of a woman. The persona, the social mask one wears in public, often differing from the true self. Jung believed these archetypes influence behavior and experiences, often manifesting in dreams, myths, and art. He saw individuation, the integration of these archetypes into the conscious mind was essential for psychological wholeness. In his later years, Jung explored topics like alchemy, mythology, and religion in works such as The Red Book and Mysterium Connectionis. It's also worth noting that he apparently had dreams of wars and destruction right before World War I happened. His work laid the foundation for many contemporary psychological practices and continues to influence fields like psychotherapy, literature, and religious studies. Carl Jung passed away on June 6, 1961, but his ideas remain integral to our understanding of the human mind. It's 2015 again, June. The concept of the underdog appears over and over in this story. This time, Donald Trump announces his presidential campaign. Since he's the underdog right now, this announcement was met with much skepticism and even mockery, especially from late night show hosts. But it doesn't matter. His blunt and controversial style generates significant media attention. Are you with ABC? Because I think they're a fake news network, a terrible network. This brings us back to Fortune, the internet's embodiment of chaos. The users of this website wanted to mock somebody as well. Politically incorrect finds the idea of electing a chaos-inducing candidate amusing. So, memes surface. Unsurprisingly, many of Trump's positions resonate with internet underdogs. This is not a political commentary. If you are old enough to watch this video, you probably remember that back in those days, the knowledge about mainstream media's narratives was even considered a conspiracy theory. Whether those narratives were driven by the advertisers or agreements behind the scenes, Fortune was the only major site where this kind of discourse took place. And reality often is that censorship or any kind of attack only leads to more polarization, as well as making the censored feel like they are right, especially when it seems like a lot of people think a certain kind of censored way. So, Trump was seen as a long-shot candidate, yet the appeal to anti-establishment voters propels him in the polls. Meanwhile, beneath the traditional media, memes were spreading and more people began associating meme magic with Trump. Now, getting him elected wasn't just a joke. His debate performances, often clashing with other Republicans, were highly entertaining and solidified his image as a political outsider willing to challenge the status quo, convincing politically incorrect that he was the candidate they wanted in office. The decentralization of memes amplifies Trump's momentum, with meme magic becoming more real each day. His viability as a candidate became undeniable when he secured victories in early primary states, like his win in New Hampshire on February 9, 2016. Soon, anime girls in MAGA hats appeared. Donald Trump everyone's favorite frog emerged, and it felt like saying, look how fucking cool he is, to all the establishment's rejects. Next, 
he won the majority of states on Super Tuesday in March and secured the nomination in June, and the rest is history. Considering the complexity of political campaigns, it's foolish to claim one thing made someone win, but memes' influence is undeniable. They disrupted traditional media narratives, targeted voters with precise odds, helped Trump stay in headlines, living rent-free in people's heads, and created an entire movement and aesthetic. With this strange chain of events, maybe when the plane crashed, some primordial underdog energy was truly unleashed. But that's just an interesting perspective and nothing else, right? Only when we look at the larger picture does this really start to get weird. Previously mentioned Pepe the Frog, which at some point became the symbol of fortune, had some skeletons in his closet. Have you ever heard the phrase kek? In the early days, it meant lol in orcish. Then it turned out Koreans use kekeke to imitate laughter. Fortune users to differentiate themselves adopted this phrase somewhere along Trump's campaign when meme magic was becoming recognizable, a revelation was made. Apparently, Kek is the name of the Egyptian god of darkness and chaos, depicted as a man with a frog's head. In hieroglyphics, he's portrayed as a man seemingly typing away at a computer. How did it happen? That the mascot of the site is a frog, they've been using the term Kek, the German wings flight happened right before meme magic was needed, it's associated with the freeing of some opposite, leading to Trump's election, and it all ties back to an ancient god. Throughout the coming years, meme magic became a tale, a legend for those who never witnessed it. There are smaller examples and events I've noticed, but they never compared to the happenings of 2016. For instance, the events after 2020 could be linked to meme magic, although memes didn't cause them. I used to lurk on fortune, and the sentiment was that many users wanted a monumental change affecting the entire world, which is just regular fortune to be honest. As we all know, after 2020, nothing would ever be the same. Their wish was fulfilled, but with so many biases, we can never know the truth. What if it's all hindsight bias? What if we are only seeing what we want to see? There are so many other causes that could lead to these events, making it all a matter of belief. But the last underdog of this story is you, or me. This experience is probably relatable to many people. Just how memes made Trump cool for so many, they also made a whole bunch of other things seem like a good idea to my young mind on the internet. Back when Leafy was here, to those who don't remember the pioneer of commentary during the mid-2010s, I've grown to love edgy humor. There was something so cool about being an internet loser. In my mind, Leafy always appears as this dinosaur, with reefers in his nostrils and an obey hat. I've never been fond of traditional substances, but over time, cannabis began to seem so alternative. Anime girls with plants next to your favorite artists, then extreme political ideologies, politics being spread in the form of memes. And for me personally, if it wasn't for that, I would have never came to the conclusion that politics are for dummies, because we put parties above making meaningful change and ideas above people. Memes are just the fuse on which everything else burns. They are the fuse and not the fire, because they are the ones feeding ideas already in your mind. And the scientific clues, since it's hard to call any of this evidence, may be found in the works of earlier discussed psychic explorers. In reality, we do not know the source of consciousness, and our theories, like the information integration theory, are flawed. Dr. Hakwan Lau, team leader in the Laboratory for Consciousness at the Riken Institute near Tokyo, points this out. 
It's interesting that Jung and other psyche explorers like Barrett Hellinger have the inclination to delve into mysticism and symbolism later on in their studies based on the way we perceive the world and integrate information or the emergence of language and arts that we see in human evolution, abstract symbols do play an integral role in our minds, the material affects the immaterial, the world affects your mind, and it seems to go both ways. But let me just finish, I'm not trying to sell Shanghai level nonsense to you, I want you to draw your own conclusions. The way you perceive the world is purely based on, who'd have guessed, perception. Your own mind can influence reality by creating associations in your and the consumer's mind. The Nazis used heavy symbolism for propaganda, as did other regimes. Religions do, all cultures, and even commercial brands. The explanation of affecting the collective unconscious might be wrong. It's the act of romanticizing that changes perceptions. And the brain, being an abstract creature, communicates best with abstract symbols. But who knows, maybe some of those symbols really do dive deep enough for a significant number of people to affect the collective unconscious. The study of these topics is still met with skepticism, and we may never know the full truth. But if it's not the collective unconscious, how do we explain the crash of the plane? Lubitz had a history of suicidal thoughts and was decided unfit for work by his doctor, yet he withheld this information from his employer. In the aftermath, aviation authorities worldwide implemented changes to prevent a similar tragedy. Lufthansa, the airline in charge of the flight, has paid 75,000 euro to the family of every victim, as well as 10,000 in pain and suffering compensation to every close relative. The crash of the flight 9525 really seems to be just a coincidence, yet we would be ignorant to say that there is no meaning in it. It's interesting that the idea of meme magic comes from ancient esoteric beliefs and the occult, known for abstract explanations, symbolism, and allegories. The development of, for example, memetic language is magical in itself. To understand the meme of Sigma, you would need to know it's making fun of the earlier concept of the alpha male, which evolved into an astrological chart for men just before movies portraying independent masculine characters gained wider notoriety again. Maybe God really does have a sense of humor and a soft spot for memes. Almost seems like everything happens for a reason, whether it's sharing awareness about social male status stereotypes that could do you more harm than good or giving the underdog a chance. With the upcoming American election and many important decisions in your life, watch out for the influence me magic has on you.